Creating dialogue and interactions in rooms to create a story can be quite complex. There is a beauty in making it all work together with wait, send, and broadcast methods. But if you're looking for a cleaner, faster solution for a story, you should take a look at the story scroll. The story scroll is a thing that houses a ton of code that helps you create a story with the other things in your room. Our friend Bruno created this as a way to help creators tell a story more easily using no code syntax. Let's jump into the scroll and see what we have. Most of the code in the scroll is not something that you will need to change, but there are three variables that you need to look at. First is the story variable, and this is where we will place our story elements. We'll come back to this in a moment. Second is the play speed of the story. The default is a value of one, but you can change that to a larger number to play it faster or a smaller number to play it slower. The third variable is sound volume. And if you're using sounds, you can adjust the volume of those sounds so that they are consistent throughout the story. Going back to the story variable, the way that this works is that there are keywords and phrases that are built into the scroll code that when used have a function associated with it. You can see in my example, I have two commands. The first is a wait command and the second is a command for appear. These commands identify the item, action, and optional details that are used by the scrolls code to control the story. To add another command, you will put a comma after the quotations and create a new command by starting with quotation mark. And then we will identify the item that we want to change. So we'll say waving. Bruno. Then we can state what we would like to do, and this will be set frame two to change to the second animation frame. I'm going to end that with another quotation mark. I'm going to add a comma and then another command for waving Bruno say hello. And the quotation, and we can preview. I'm going to change this to just two seconds so we don't have to wait so long. Uh, preview and we can see that Bruno will appear. We'll see the wave frame and then hello. Now if you wanted some things to happen at the same time, let's say hello and the waving frame to appear, we can just add at the same time comma waving Bruno comma say hello and this line will occur at the same time as the line before it. So let's preview it. Bruno appears and the wave and hello happen at the same time. In order to add yet another command, we can say waving Bruno, turn towards story scroll. And this is where I'm saying that waving Bruno should rotate to look at the scroll. And then we can also have the story scroll say hi. And if we did this properly, these should all work in sequence. So we have Bruno appear. We have the wave and hello at the same time. We have a turn toward the scroll. And then the scroll says hello. There are a ton of different things that you can do with the story scroll. And there is a completely separate document to help you utilize the story scroll in all of the ways possible. You can find that by clicking on the documentation thing in this template room. And you can also use this room as a template for helping you get started using the story scroll.